guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a third trimester nursing update for you guys. I have kept my pregnancy videos on my nursing channel to a minimum, but I know some of you guys are still really curious as to how I'm doing when it comes to being pregnant and being a nurse. If you're wanting more like detailed updates on things, um, I will leave my vlogging channel and personal channel down below where I've done a ton of different like pregnancy update related videos, birth plans, uh, hauls, trimester update thingies. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. So, um, but I wanted to talk about my third trimester and how it's going as a nurse. I've done one for my first trimester, second trimester, and here we are in the third trimester. I'm 31 weeks today, so I have nine weeks left till my due date, so plus or minus some time um, until my baby's due. And I am definitely slowing down quite a bit. Um, I'm still working full time, so three 12 hour shifts a week. And what I've done is I've just divided my shifts up so I won't work more than two in a row. It may be two on, one off, one on, but I will not work a three or four shifts in a row because it's just too much. Um, Work is definitely getting more difficult in the aspect of I'm just getting more tired quicker and like my joints are starting to hurt, my feet are starting to swell and so by the ends of my days I'm just pretty much exhausted. I did buy a belly band um, which if you watched my, I did a second trimester must-haves video on my personal channel, I put it in there but basically it's just an elastic band that goes around your belly and helps hold up some of the weight and kind of support your belly and that has helped a lot with like my back pain and just everything seems to start to hurt you in pregnancy um it's I don't want to say I feel like my body's failing me because I know it's not I know it's doing what it's supposed to but just everything like every part of me I could probably complain about a different aspect of something hurting or bothering me but I'm not gonna make this video about complaining um but as far as like work restrictions goes I've been still able to do a lot of things like a lot of my coworkers don't make me lift or turn they'll get someone else or they'll maybe have me like I'll tuck the pillow and they'll turn and do the work and I've been really like I've been very thankful for that and I've also been more like trying to force myself to do that as well like if I'm asking for help I say hey do you mind taking like you know you turn and I'll tuck the pillow and most people are well everyone is totally okay with that um, it's not that I can't do the things, I'm just trying to prevent any bad things happening. We actually had a nurse, I don't know who it was, I just heard this story from my coworkers whose water broke at 32 weeks pregnant while she was like turning a patient. So I just trying to be extra cautious, extra careful, um, and yeah, but other than that, everything's been going well. I had a couple of people ask me some questions pertaining to my shifts, like how are you keeping up with drinking enough or eating enough or when you have to pee a lot <laughs> how are you like dismissing yourselves and honestly I just I just force myself to do it so I'm constantly drinking water and I have a goal of how much I want to drink every day and I'll be honest there's some days where I don't reach that goal if I had a super busy shift um, and as far as eating goes it's not as hard as I thought it would be because I can kind of just snack throughout my shifts and honestly, I'm not like that hungry. You think that when you get pregnant that you should just have this like raging appetite and for some women they might, but it's like I can't get that much down into my stomach. <laughs> and so I can just eat little bits here and there. And so I'm not actually like that hungry all the time. Um, and then it come, when it comes to peeing, honestly, I just, I just go. If someone needs to listen out for my patients for the minute I'm gone, then I just say, hey, I'm going running to the bathroom. Can you listen out? Other than that, um, everything's going well. I do plan to, everyone has been asking me, how much time are you taking off? Um, are you going to stop working before you um, are deliver? And my goal is to work up until the moment I have to deliver pretty much. So I just want to try and save all my PTO to use once she's actually born. And I do plan on taking my full 12 weeks off of work. Um, that's the most, well, I guess that's kind of the standard of where I work is like how much you can take off. Part of it's paid, part of it will be my PTO, part of it's unpaid. Um, but I plan on taking the full 12 weeks. I just might not take it all at once. I might do intermittent FMLA where I can work maybe one shift a week and then, yeah, anyways, 
kind of <laughs> long story short I will use my 12 weeks just I may not use it all at one chunk I might kind of try and divide it up if that is going to be something that interests me when she's born I don't know when she's born I might be like oh my gosh I can't imagine leaving her um, after only six seven weeks and going back and working one shift um, but we'll see so those are the answers to my third trimester questions I've been getting from you guys that's how I'm doing and if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go check out my other channels if you are interested in more thorough updates and seeing like ultrasound things and all that fun baby stuff. Uh, but we're very excited, I'm very excited, and I'm thankful that I have a career that can be flexible and I'm in a unit that is very good to their people and pregnant moms just in general. Um, so. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and let me, um, if you want, I will show you my belly. So here's a 31 week belly. Pretty crazy that I still have nine more weeks to, uh, to go.